Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the face detection analytics in the Diamond Series system through the web browser and on the NVR local interface. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the face detection analytics in the web browser. Now before we begin, I want to make a little side note. Just always make sure that the camera that you have supports the analytics that you want. So in this case, make sure it supports face detection, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the web browser and as usual, type in the IP address of the NVR in the URL up at the top. Then you're going to see the login page here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put in our password that we created when we initialized it. Click login. Then again, what I like to do usually is just go to the live view mode and then just make sure that I can see the camera that I want and just verify that the uh, scene that I want is correct, okay? So now what we're gonna do is go in the main menu and do some basic settings first. So under display, of course, uh, since we're doing analytics here, make sure the AI rule box is checked. Click apply and then you'll see the operation succeeded here, okay? Then now what we're gonna do go back into the AI mode. And then what we're gonna do is go to parameters and then go to smart plan, okay? And we're gonna select a camera. Now, as I mentioned that, you know, make sure that the camera that you have has the function that you want. So if this camera didn't have the face detection option, this little icon here with the upper torso of the person that says face detection would not show up. So always make sure that when you select the camera, always, make, uh, always verify that, okay? So now what we're gonna do is Click on the face detection, highlight it blue, and then go ahead and click apply. Okay, you have to do that step first. Once that's done, we're gonna go to the face detection IVS here, make sure the right camera is selected by verifying the view, check enable, okay, and then of course, you know, the schedule, make sure that's set to all the days that you want, and of course, make sure the record channel is uh, checked as well too, okay, and then any other things that you wanna trip or trigger, just be sure to check that, okay, and that will depend on your situation. Go ahead and click apply. All right, and then now what we're gonna do is go into the storage menu now, and then we're gonna go to schedule, and then select the camera that we want, and then by default, it's set to the 24-7 uh, the green non-stop recording. Now we're gonna go to settings, and then check the intelligent option. Now the intelligent option can be just checked by itself, but from our previous videos, it's always uh, recommended to check the general 24 seven recording because then when you do a playback, you get that nice uh, fluid video from what happened before the event got triggered and what happened after, okay? But it's also your preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all the days that I want, check the general and the intelligent as a preference, click okay, click apply. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for snapshot. It's already set to green, general, 24-7 recording, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and click all and then select intelligent, all right? And then once I do that, click okay, and then you see the colors being verified here, and then click apply, all right? And then now what we're gonna do, demonstrate this in action, but again, as I said, when we go downstairs and test this camera in action, you're gonna see a person walk up to the camera and you're gonna see a box flashing around their face, which shows that the camera is picking up their face for face detection. And now we're going to demonstrate the face detection in action. So as you can see, as soon as she's walking towards the camera, the box is starting to flash between green and red, which means it's picking her up. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to search for it. So what we do is go under AI. And then we're gonna go under AI search, and then under face detection, because that's what we're doing. And then select the right camera, the right date, hit search. And then as you can see here, the most recent date, all we gotta do is just double click, play. And then if you double click on it, it puts it in full screen mode. So there you go, you can see her walking towards the camera and you see the box start to flash, okay? And that's how you do it on the web browser. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up the face detection on the NVR local interface. So once you log in, one of the first things you do is just make sure the view that you want is the correct one, okay? So now I'm gonna go to the main menu, and then I'm gonna go to display. And of course, the, under the AI rule, I always wanna make sure that's enabled, okay? That way I can see if the AI is being triggered or not. Go ahead and click apply, all right? 
And once I'm done, I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna go under AI. Then under parameters, the first thing you wanna do is go to smart plan, okay? And select the correct camera. Now, since we're doing face detection, like I said, when you select a camera, make sure it supports the feature that you want. And you can tell by the smart plan, it'll show icons of the features. So by looking here, you can see the upper torso icon, which means face detection, okay? So you're gonna highlight that blue, then go ahead and click apply, okay? And then once that's done, you're gonna go to face detection, select the correct camera, of course, and then select enable. And then after that, make sure the record channel is obviously checked. Other settings such as the, uh, the rules, just verify everything. The schedule, make sure that's set to all the hours and days that you want. Click OK. And then if you want to trigger any other alarms or any type of notifications, uh, you can select that based on what your uh, requirements are. Okay. So once that's done, you're going to go ahead and click Apply. Okay. And then next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Storage. Okay. Select the correct camera under Schedule. And then under record, uh, as you can see here, by default, it's set for 24 hour recording, which is the general, okay? What I like to like to do is select the intelligent because the face detection is counted as an intelligent function along with general. Now, you don't technically have to do it with general, but if you do do that, when you do a playback footage, it makes it for a more uh, smoother video because you can see what happens before and after the event is triggered, okay? So in this example, I'm gonna select both, copy to all the days that I want, and as you can see here, you have two different color codes for the different types of schedules. Click apply. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for snapshot. Select the correct camera. Do the intelligent with the general. Click all the days that I want. Click OK. And then click apply. And then that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna demonstrate this in action. So as you can see, as she's approaching the camera, you see the green box picking her up, okay? So now what we're gonna do, log in, go to AI mode, and then go to AI search under face detection. Make sure the right camera is selected, and of course make sure the start time and end time is in the right settings. Click search, okay? And then you see the most recent time here, the 1047, coincided when she walked towards the camera. Hit play, and you're gonna see her walk towards the camera, being picked up. So you can see that green box picked her up. And that's how you do it. And that concludes our tutorial on how to set up the face detection analytics in the Diamond Series IP system on the web browser and on the NVR local interface. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notified for future videos. Once again, thanks for watching.